Hey, I'm Avalahan. I made it. I'm finally in Legends Arena. And that was such a battle. It took me about two hours pushing. I dropped back to 2,600 trophies and then made it back up to 3,000. And you can see it here in my fight log where I started off again at 2,000. 600 trophies and then all those battles here that finally took me back to 3000 trophies and into the legends arena look at all those victories but also some losses in there that some some pushbacks on the way but a lot of wins and also three crown wins so look at all those battles here and i'm gonna show you the last four battles in my quest to legends so in this first one i was already at 2950 trophies so very close and i knew it only takes me two more battles to get into legends and you can bet i was already very nervous here going with my usual deck i played this deck for quite a while now i only did a small change to that deck uh, maybe you notice i switched the archers and replaced them with the guards um, i think for the value actually the guards are a little bit better they will not go against air units though so again i'm a little bit weaker against air units with this kind of deck than i was was with archers but then again the archers don't really make such a huge difference compared to the guards and you can see it here i'm already at his tower the first push here to my advantage some decent damage already done to his right tower there and yeah i'm basically kind of ignoring that ice wizard just countering it with another ice wizard to slow it down and again trying to place the giant in front of the ice wizard he has kind of a hot spammer deck a hot spawner deck here with those uh spare goblins and barbarian hut and of course it's very difficult for him to place the barbarian hut and he also has a larry a giant skeleton he's using and yeah he counters there really nice against my giant with those barbarians those barbarians are a threat and here the guards come nicely into play always place them in the center in front of your king tower to lure those barbarians to the center and see how easily they get killed and at the same time i do a counter push here with the hog rider and that already gets me the right tower musketeer kills the hog rider easily of course and it will also kill that ice wizard really easily but at this moment here i have to save up elixir to be ready for his counter push so that's what i'm doing here dropping a bomber for defense against those barbarians uh, basically i'm focusing on defense right now um, also trying to push a little bit at the same time whenever my elixir is full to keep him busy and he uses another giant skelly for defense i think that's not the best use of giant skelly for defense there i'm able to take out this barbarian hut as well he's attacking from the right side and the only thing i got here is the pekka to defend against those barbarians and now the guards come in nice and handy and those barbarians are down already and another giant i place him in the center just as a meat shield just to keep him busy and, and let my towers take care of the attacking troops and what comes in very nice here is that the giant will walk to his tower give protection to the bomber the bomber able to take out his barbarians and it's another victory and i know i have only one more battle to win to make it to legend and let me show you whether i did it the next one i faced was this guy here it's called he's called somebody somebody i was fighting somebody and this was the battle that could either get me to legends or annoy the heck out of me because i lose and won't make it and he drops very nice the pekka there i'm a little bit late with the guards so actually the pekka gets a shot at my tower already doing a huge amount of damage here. very unlucky start for me in this battle my giant walking very slowly to his tower i'm behind i'm behind big time here already and yeah he's defending against the giant with the musketeer which is very smart to do nevertheless my giant will be able to do a lot of damage 
And now another Pekka and the Musketeer attack my tower and that's really dangerous. And the only thing I got here again is the Pekka and then I got the guards. Guards going for the Musketeer but again the Musketeer takes out my guards and is followed by a bomber and I'm not ready to defend. So a very unlucky start here. Very bad rotation at the start, uh, where I don't really have the cards I would need to defend. And again, here comes a royal giant, and the only thing I got is an ice wizard to slow him down. No P.E.K.K.A. So notice that the, my main defense in this deck is the mini P.E.K.K.A. I use the mini P.E.K.K.A. mainly to defend against royal giant and, and other kind of troops like Sparkies and, and Musketeers. So, He's my main defensive troop. I drop him there, which is a mistake. I should not have dropped him. I should have just accepted the loss of the right tower because it's a waste of mini P.E.K.K.A. And again, I'm without defense right now. I have to use the guards against the P.E.K.K.A. Of course, that works, but I'm not ready for another Royal Giant drop. Nice placement of the Bomber there. I'm pretty sure he will place another Royal Giant. And as I said, I'm helpless. I'm helpless. Only thing I got is a giant. I dropped the giant to make some space. And I use a bomber to attack his royal giant and an ice wizard to slow it down. But again, he's doing a lot of damage to my tower. And my mini Pekka now running to the side. Nice defense there with the tap again. Um, his musketeer approaching my left tower. My giants. I have to go all in here with only 30 seconds left. I decide to drop two giants. Trying to take down at least that one tower and that actually works. And now it's 1-1 but he's able to drop another royal giant this time. I have the P.E.K.K.A ready. I was actually waiting this time really uh, saving up the P.E.K.K.A to defend against the royal giant and see how well that works. But still my left tower very weak compared to his uh, right tower. And there is another musketeer shooting for my tower. And there it goes and I lose. I lose. This would have been the battle that brought me to Legends, but I lose after a very bad start. But of course, I didn't give up. And let me show you the next battles. So after this loss, I was back at 2950 trophies. So I knew I have to win two battles in a row to get me into Legends Arena. And yeah, with this deck here, basically, I just dropped the giant. I know I got the bomber, so I'm able to do a little push there with the giant bomber. And he's attacking with an ice wizard, and I'm expecting something like a giant or, or kind of giant attack, but yeah, nothing happens, which is very weird. And I decide to drop the guards in front of the giant, which I usually don't do, because the, the guards are very well for defense. But I thought that would give the giant a little bit more time to get to the tower and actually that works out pretty well. Giant reaching the tower doing decent damage and look at how much damage the giant is doing to the tower. My level 8 giant really strong and that makes him crying. <laughs> I can understand that. And already I drop another giant. He drops a goblin bear which is a nice move because at this moment I'm not ready to defend. The only thing I got is a bomber and look how the bomber goes for each of those goblins individually and my tower lost so much health and my giant slowed down and I don't think actually my giant reached the tower there yeah it's already destroyed guards going for the knight the bomber of course will take out that knight and it remains an ice wizard so I'm still ahead, I'm still ahead, of course I'm very very nervous here, I don't want to lose a battle, I want to win two battles in a row, and yeah, I'm not worried about those fire spirits, they will actually die before they reach the tower, but this time I have the zap ready, I knew it, I knew he would try to throw the goblin barrel again, so this time I had the zap ready for the goblin barrel, I'm doing a hog push there, Hoping he's not ready to defend. He has a knight and is actually able to zap the hawk. But still the hawk gets two hits. Two hits and almost destroys his tower and he's crying again. I don't feel sorry for him. Sorry. Because I want to win so bad. And he drops another goblin barrel and I'm ready with the zap again. I'm defending against this one. My ice wizard slowing down his ice wizard. Uh, killing him slowly. <laughs> Killing him slowly. So I know now all I need 
is arrows to take out this tower so no mistake please no mistake another goblin barrel and again i'm not ready to defend i have to drop the guards and he's able to do more damage to my tower which is worrying my tower at 426 i drop another giant there to keep him busy and he drops another goblin barrel this time my zap is ready and the giant actually going for the tower the bomber attacked by the knight but the tower is down seven seconds to go very very tough for him to catch up here and he accepts the defeat and that gets me a little closer to legends arena and now this is the ultimate battle i knew i have to win this one and that would get me to legends arena and I am very unlucky here. I have to face a minor deck. Of course, I didn't know at this moment. I dropped the Hog Rider first. Also to lure him a bit uh, and make him show what the cards he has. Make him defend and show his cards. There comes the minor. But I'm ready to defend with the mini pack. I guessed the place wrong where, the, where he drops the minor. But after all, it worked out pretty well. I destroyed his Pekka and the minor, both of them. Um, not much damage done by him, more damage, I did more damage to his tower there, uh, so I start off pretty well here. And next I have the giant ready and the bomber, so that gives me a chance for a push. And always expecting another minor drop, there it is, and the only thing I have to defend is a bomber once again. And I'm very lucky there that actually the giant is in front of the tower and the P.E.K.K.A goes for the giant instead of the tower. And now I'm doing a really strong push here with Ice Wizard and Bomber. That's my favorite push to do. But the giant is already very low on health and will die on that cannon. And the Valkyrie is easily defended with my defensive mini P.E.K.K.A. One hit and she's down. Um, I had to use the mini pack unfortunately because I didn't have anything else ready. I'm dropping a hog rider just trying for that lucky shot at his tower. And there comes another miner. And this time I don't have the mini pack for the miner. And also his minions going for the tower. That's a really, really dangerous uh, situation there. And he's able to do a lot of damage. So it's even now. We're almost at the same health points. You can guess I was really nervous here. I don't want to lose. So I'm happy about the least damage. The little damage that my bomber and the zap were doing to his tower. And there come more goblins. I'm expecting a miner as well. I'm gonna arrow those guys. And there he drops another miner. But this time I have the pack already. Um, but I decide to use the P.E.K.K.A for his P.E.K.K.A. Because that's something you should know. Uh, when Miner attacks, it's actually not the Miner that is the problem for your tower. Usually it's not the Miner. Usually it's the other troops that approach your tower. Um, typical uh, attack is drop the Miner and drop the P.E.K.K.A. And the P.E.K.K.A. will do the damage to his tower. That's what this guy here is doing. And most of the times uh, you can ignore the Miner. You have to defend against the P.E.K.K.A. that attacks your tower because the miner is not doing that much damage now this is totally different in tournaments of course because in tournaments uh, there will be three minutes overtime and the miner has so much time to do damage it will be a huge huge difference difference compared to this kind of battles and there i'm able to tap the tower and a victory and that victory got me to legends arena awesome and now I'm hoping to get those legendary cards in the shop. <laughs> Probably easier than to try to buy them with super magical chests. And by the way, the super magical chests are more expensive in Legends Arena. And I also found a little bug here. Uh, when you look at the arena, I think it's a bug. Uh, it shows me that legendary there. And when I click the legendary, it actually displays what legendary troop it is. Uh, although it's marked with a question mark. Finally, I was there when the game first came out in Canada. I started playing it and finally I made it to Legends Arena. And yeah, it was actually easier from 2900 to 3000 30, than it was at 2700. Because I think I met less legendaries up there than I met uh, at 2700. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more awesome 
videos and also like and comment the video and stay awesome the host pays for the tournament so give the host a chance to define what rules he wants established in that tournament I would like to say what cards I want to allow in tournaments and this opens up for a lot of fun tournaments like an all skeleton tournament or an only commons tournament so special events like that we can select the cards that should be used in those tournaments